guys, this is completely fake. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to discuss about the transfer market with all the latest. And today, guys, we touch on Dujan Vlaovic, something on Manchester United also. What happened also between Vlaovic, Chelsea, Romelu Lukaku was the truth of the story and also important to mention the latest about the situation of David Alaba and Real Madrid. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, I wanted to clarify some, things, some situations, some stories around about Chelsea, Man United, Real Madrid, uh, because we have some lies around and so it's important to clarify something. And let me start with Manchester United, because in the last two, three weeks, we had many stories around Andre Onana. Not the best moment for the Cameroonian goalkeeper, was not a great beginning of the season, but... We know it takes time, it's a new country, new football, and also for Andre Onana, new life, and so it's important to give him some time. But we also saw some links with Oblak from Atletico Madrid, linked with a Manchester United potential move. Guys, this is completely fake. There is nothing at all between Manchester United and Oblak, at this stage at least, but Manchester United invested big money on Andre Onana, they trust Andre Onana, they know it takes time to adapt to a different idea, a different country, a different league, but for sure Manchester United goalkeeper for present and future is going to be Andre Onana. So, with Oblak there are no conversations on player side, on club side, this is completely fake and I wanted to clarify that also because would make no sense at all for Manchester United to proceed uh, on that deal at this stage. And so nothing between Manchester United and Jan Black. There was nothing between Manchester United and Dujan Vlaovic during the summer. For Man United, the top target was always uh, Rasmus Hoylund when they understood that both Harry Kane and uh, Victor Rosiman were too expensive. They decided to go for uh, Hoylund as a priority target. But also for uh, uh, Manchester United, we say that Vlaovic was not a target. What's the reality about Chelsea, guys? Today, Juventus director Cristiano Giunto in an interview in Italy said that they received a proposal from Juventus, sorry, from uh, Chelsea for a swap deal, Chelsea-Juventus with Lukaku and Vlaovic. Guys, I wanted to clarify something about that. From what I'm hearing, uh, Chelsea in July and also in August told in a very clear way to Juventus that they were not interested in signing Dujan Vlaovic. So Chelsea didn't want Vlaovic as a priority target. The only way for Chelsea to consider that possibility, this is at least what I'm hearing, was to do a swap deal, a normal one, with no money involved. So Vlaovic to Chelsea and Lukaku to Juventus. For Juventus it was absolutely impossible because Juventus wanted 40 million euros plus uh, Dujan Vlaovic to be included in the deal with Romelu Lukaku. So you said, give us Lukaku and 40 millions and we will give you Dujan Vlaovic. For Chelsea, it was absolutely impossible to proceed at these conditions for two reasons. The first one, uh, because of course the situation uh, with the uh, strikers in general was to go for different kind of player and they wanted to trust Nico Jackson. So they were not interested in proceeding with Vlaovic as a priority target. But mm, really for Chelsea, the ideas were completely different. But also important to clarify one point, Mauricio Pochettino. As I told you multiple times, Pochettino uh, was together with the board, not convinced about Vlaovic deal. So from what I'm hearing, they discussed about this possibility with intermediaries because Chelsea were looking for solutions to get rid of Romelu Lukaku. At the end it was Roma, but they were discussing with Juventus about that possibility, but the only way was a swap deal with no money involved. And Juventus wanted a big amount of money, 40 million euros or nothing. So the reality, guys, is that between Chelsea and Vlaovic, it was never close. It was never something really concrete because for Chelsea it was never a priority. And I can say that Juventus are now very happy with Vlaovic, who is scoring goals as an important player for them. Uh, and also, guys, I wanted to clarify something about Real Madrid. I already clarified something in September when we had rumors about David Alaba and Saudi clubs. For Alaba was never an option. Alaba loves Real Madrid. The club, the city, everything. So Alaba is really, really happy at Real Madrid, but also he's now injured. And we saw some rumors about Real Madrid maybe signing a free agent after the injury of Militao. Now David Alaba, no, guys, the injury of Alaba is not that serious. He's expected to return next week. But also, uh, for Real Madrid, it's not an option to go on the free agents market at this stage. Not at all. They never had one single discussion with Jerome Boateng, rumored in Spain, not true, and also with other players in that position. Real Madrid don't want to sign any free agent. They are very happy with the squad they have despite the injuries and so no plan 
first of all, to sell Alaba, because for Saudi clubs there is no chance, mm, not even in January, because Alaba is a crucial player for Real Madrid and the player is very happy there. But also, no mm, panic around this injury. And so guys, let me know your thoughts about all these stories, Oblak, Onana, Vlaovic, Lukaku, Alaba, I wait for you in the comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon, with Fabrizio, ciao!